Oh, another woman has come forward to accuse Governor Cuomo of misconduct. Jack Watson is in studio now. Jack, this woman is from the town of Greece. What happened? It was there when the governor toured the lakeshore damage in 2017. We are told that visit is when this incident allegedly happened. We've had to move everything out of the home. We've moved all the furniture out. And we're just preparing for the worst right now. When the lakeshore flooding happened back in 2017, News 8 interviewed Sherry Ville. In that story, Ville spoke about the damage the lakeshore flooding had done to her home and her business. Following the floods, the governor had announced that $10 million in funding would go to local municipalities. His actions were very overly sexual, highly inappropriate, and disrespectful to me and my family. Today, Ville is the latest woman to accuse Governor Andrew Cuomo of sexual misconduct when he was in the Rochester area touring the damage in 2017. Ville and her attorney held a Zoom press conference today, both describing the governor's alleged misconduct. He leaned down over me and kissed my cheek. Ville says after the initial encounter, within days, the governor's office had again invited her to an event in town, asking Ville to attend. Notably, she did not say my husband and I or my family and I, only specifically me. Ville says she purposely did not reply and was later sent a letter and photos by Governor Cuomo's office. Now, almost four years later, Ville is making public her accusations and the way she felt after it allegedly happened. So we have reached out to the governor's office for a response to these allegations. We have not heard from them specifically, but we did hear from Cuomo attorney Rita Glavin, who says, quote, as I have said before, the governor has greeted both men and women with hugs, a kiss on the cheek, forehead or hand for the past 40 years. Glavin also says it is common practice to send letters and photos to people the governor has met. Maureen.